Archon, Greek, archon, archon plural, archontes, archontes, is a Greek word that means «ruler», frequently used as the title of a specific public office. It is the masculine present participle of the verb stem arch, meaning «to rule», derived from the same root as monarch and hierarchy. <laughs> Ancient Greece In the early literary period of ancient Greece the chief magistrates of various Greek city-states were called archon. The term was also used throughout Greek history in a more general sense, ranging from «club leader» to «master of the tables» at Sisitia to «Roman governor». In Roman terms, archontes ruled by imperium, whereas basilis «kings» had octoritas. In Athens a system of three concurrent archons evolved, the three office holders being known as the Archon Eponymas, the Polemarch, and the Archon Basilis. According to Aristotle's constitution of the Athenians, the power of the king first evolved to the archons, and these offices were filled from the aristocracy by elections every ten years. During this period the Archon Eponymas was the chief magistrate, the Polemarch was the head of the armed forces, and the Archon Basilis was responsible for the civic religious arrangements. After 683 BC the offices were held for only a single year, and the year was named after the Archon Eponymas. Many ancient calendar systems did not number their years consecutively, although the process of the next transition is unclear. After 487 BC the archonships were assigned by lot to any citizen and the Polemarch's military duties were taken over by a new class of generals known as strategoi. The Polemarch thereafter had only minor religious duties. The Archon Eponymas remained the titular head of state under democracy, though of much reduced political importance. The Archons were assisted by junior Archons, called the Smothetes. After 457 BC X Archons were automatically enrolled as life members of the Areopagus, though that assembly was no longer extremely important politically at that time. Under the Athenian constitution, Archons were also in charge of organizing festivals by bringing together poets, playwrights, actors, and city-appointed chorigai wealthy citizen patrons. The Archon would begin this process months in advance of a festival by selecting a chorus of three playwrights based on descriptions of the projected plays. Each playwright would be assigned a korigos, also selected by the archon, from among the wealthy citizens who would pay all the expenses of costumes, masks, and training the chorus. The archon also assigned each playwright a principal actor, the protagonist, as well as a second and third actor. The city Dionysia, an ancient dramatic festival held in March in which tragedy, comedy, and satiric drama originated, was under the direction of one of the principal magistrates, the archon eponymas. The Archon Eponymas remained the titular head of state under democracy, though of much reduced political importance. <inaudible> <inaudible> Byzantine Empire Byzantine historians usually described foreign rulers as archontes. The rulers of the Bulgars themselves, along with their own titles, often bear the title Archon placed by God in inscriptions in Greek. Inside Byzantium, the term could be used to refer to any powerful noble or magnate, but in a technical sense, it was applied to a class of provincial governors. In the 8th and 9th centuries, these were the governors of some of the more peripheral provinces, inferior in status to the Themata, Dalmatia, Cephalonia, Crete and Cyprus. Archontes were also placed in charge of various naval bases and trade stations, as well as semi-autonomous Slavic inhabited areas under Byzantine sovereignty. In the 10th–12th centuries, archontes are also mentioned as the governors of specific cities. The area of an archon's jurisdiction was called an archontia. archontia. The title was also used for the holders of several financial posts, such as the head of the mint, archontes carriages as well as directors of the imperial workshops, arsenals, etc. The title of megas archon, grand archon, is also attested, as a translation of foreign titles such as grand prince. In the mid-13th century, it was established as a special court rank, held by the highest-ranking official of the emperor's company. It existed throughout the Palaiologan period, but did not have any specific functions. <laughs> Archons of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople From time to time, laity of the Orthodox Church in communion with the Patriarch of Constantinople have been granted the title of Archon to honor their service to church administration. 
In 1963, Archons were organized into a service society dedicated to St. Andrew. This Archon status is not part of the church hierarchy and is purely honorary. See http www.archons.org An Archon is an honoree by His All Holiness the Ecumenical Patriarch, for his outstanding service to the Church, and a well-known, distinguished, and well-respected leader of the Orthodox Church at large. It is the sworn oath of the Archon to defend and promote the Orthodox Church faith and tradition. His main concern is to protect and promote the Holy Patriarchate and its mission. He is also concerned with human rights and the well-being and general welfare of the Church. As it is a significant religious position, the faith and dedication of a candidate for the role are extensively reviewed during consideration. The candidate should have demonstrated commitment for the betterment of the Church, parish diocese, archdiocese and the community as a whole. Other uses Archon is also used in modern Greek colloquially, as archontas, archontas to someone that holds a form of status, or power the term is used within the Arab-speaking Copts in church parlance as a title for a leading member of the laity. Various fraternities and sororities use the title of archon or variations on it, some Gnostic sects use this term for demons associated with the planet spheres. References A Greek English lexicon, aka Liddell and Scott, ISBN 0 19 864226 1. The Oxford Companion to Classical Literature, ISBN 0 19 866121 5. Archons of the Ecumenical Patriarchate Mitchell, John Malcolm. Archon. In Chisholm, Hugh. Encyclopædia Britannica, 2, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 444-445. This contains a detailed account of the evolution of the Greek office, and the qualifications required. Authorities cited G. Gilbert, Constitutional Antiquities Eng. Trans. 1895 Eduard Myers Geschichte des Alterthums, e. Sect. 228 a. H. J. Greenwich, Handbook of Greek Constitutional History 1895. J. W. Headlam, On Election by Lot in Athens CAMB. 1891.